Arc 2 is going to the city in this latest clip shown off by the Arc developers. <sighs> Clickbait? No, of course it's not. It is a fan made passion project, i.e., it's just one of the devs messing about in his own free time. Not an actual Arc 2 gameplay clip before Loaded Clickbait gets in there. I thought I would do it first. But it does look great. This is actually a wave of creators, friends of mine and others showcasing what the Unreal Engine 5 can do The terms of lighting. This is actually the city that you may have seen, that Matrix game being made or the demo they had a little while ago. And simply put, someone has put the big massive T-Rex inside it. I would absolutely hate this if this was a direction wildcard ever went in. We've already had it with Extinction a little bit and it just doesn't really work for me with the dinosaurs in these big massive cities. It's all about surviving and making your own bases. Would you play a art game like this? If you're not following Kudakos, you should. He is the cinematics producer at Studio Wildcards, working on Arc and of course Arc 2, and he does do this in his spare time. So I repeat, this is not coming to Arc, but it is a, I do believe, a Arc 1 T-Rex munching and crunching away at certain things in the Unreal Engine 2. It's been a good few years since we took a look at some maps and back in the day I did a showcase of one called I do believe Genesis. This was meant to be like a cyberpunk neon kind of blocky city landscape and even then I thought this was pretty awful to be honest. It was so bright, so big, it reminded me of someone just putting some Lego bits together. A bit too bright for me but I thought it was a pretty interesting idea but yeah looking back at it now I'm like oh my god my eyes hurt. But I did have some good ideas. Take a look at that. That was an actual working kind of elevator taking you through the map. It had all these weird things as well, like garbage collectors or dumping the garbage down on the floor. So some elements of this map were pretty cool. So will we see iterations of something like this mixed in with the technology for Unreal Engine 5 in the future? I don't doubt it. Apparently the performance and a lot more has improved with the new engine. So things like this won't be necessarily a thing of the past. Crazy maps have always been a big part of Ark Survival Evolved and with the devs so keen on having some of them as sponsored content as well as official made maps, I'm hoping that we do get definitely more variety again in the future if Ark 2 goes down that route. So what would you prefer? More realistic Earth-like city or something a bit more futuristic and punk? Or are you like me and you just want the cities to be left well alone? As said, a bunch of creators are also toying around with this. Raz, my good pal, he has done one as well, importing the Alpha Dragon into Unreal Engine 5, as well as his own actual rendered character. The lighting does look amazing on some of these, and I think it just illustrates how great maybe Arc 2 can look. But of course, that's not the most important thing. It's how the game runs. That's what matters to me. The Catus also showcasing even more stuff where he's put items and pretty much models from creatures into the Unreal Engine 5 like this Ice Wyvern. Now if you're wondering how they do it, you can download Blender for free, I do believe, and you import the models from Unreal Engine 4 and Arc, and then you can go ahead, put them through Blender, and then feed it back into Unreal Engine 5. It sounds super simple, it's not, but there are lots of guides and tutorials out there if you want to learn how. Now considering Arc 2 is meant to be coming out later on this year, why have we still got no info? Where's the teases? Where's the talk? Even their lead designer on Art 2 can't give any info out. Replying to a question from Riker Plays here, asking about this chameleon plant dino creature, Greg has simply put Art 2 information embargo. I'm literally not allowed to talk about it. When are you going to start talking about it, Wildcard? You're four months into the year of release and you still haven't said a single thing about the game in nearly 18 months. It's time to get your ass in gear and start giving us some reveals. PAX East begins on April the 21st, and although they're not actually registered or listed as being at the event, I won't put it past them to still go ahead and reveal some sort of news that weekend. There'll be lots of gaming news flying around, and they tend to do a lot of this all together. We knew they were at the GDC gaming conference a little while ago, trying to get more developers to come work for them, and although this one's a bit more public, it's still an opportunity to maybe talk to other developers. There's a whole bunch of actual gaming talks been going around, now we may not get any Arc 2 news at PAX East that's upcoming, but I am going to go on a hunch and say we're going to see something revealed about Fjordor. Wildcard have been at PAX East a bunch of times in the past, revealing a whole bunch of stuff. Admittedly it's a good few years since they showcased anything, but in the past they did do these massive statues, little expedition that you got to go and basically get a nice picture with, and pretty much the whole Arc team were there, what it seemed like it anyway, the big creators doing giveaways and streaming. 
and they even had the very very beginnings i do believe of survival of the fittest with some sort of tailored game mode but yeah i'm predicting we're going to get reveals pretty much every week now showcasing either the creatures or parts of the map but i am expecting some sort of mini trailer or clip to be shown at one of these upcoming gaming events and there's a few more like this in the works i'm going to keep you guys posted we're not going to see arc 2 at any of these events but i am pretty confident we'll see fjordor at least